working on today, Morgan? Uh, so comparable hotel revenue per available room, it was up 31%. Uh, we've been hearing it from other travel and leisure related companies uh, that demand is strong. Where are you seeing that demand come from? And key question, looking to the second half of the year, how resilient do you expect it to be? Well, for those who are uh, maybe not as aware of host hotels and resorts, we are the uh, large, one of the largest owners of iconic and luxury hotels in the United States. We're the only uh, uh, Real estate investment trust in the S and P 500, and the only real uh, lodging real estate investment trust with an investment grade balance sheet. So, the company is really set up uh, to continue to outperform. We couldn't be happier with our performance in Q1. Our guidance was 24 to 27 percent repar growth, and uh, as you said, we came in at 31 percent. We are really enthusiastic for the way this year is playing out. The outperformance in Q1, as well as uh, the confidence we have in what we're seeing occur in the balance of the year, uh, gave us the confidence to raise our guidance from 5% at the midpoint to 9% at the midpoint for full year 2023 Rev Park. And it's really across all business segments. Uh, the leisure customer continues to remain strong and resilient. I would say that there was a bit of a plateauing effect from the uh, fourth quarter to the first quarter. Okay. Uh, but rates are meaningfully above where they were in 2019, and we don't see a moderation back to 2019 by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. Uh, business, business travel continues to evolve. Uh, we're seeing small, medium-sized businesses really leading the way, uh, and it, it's going to evolve over time. I think the really bright picture is the group piece of the business. Okay. Um Post is... Well, go ahead, Morgan. Okay. Yeah. So, so in terms of the group piece of the business, I guess, I guess break that down. And, and, and just as importantly, because we did have the Fed raise rates again today, we did have that press conference from Powell. What are your expectations in terms of where the economy goes from here? As we see all of these rates begin to settle in, as you have a, a, bank, a banking situation, a crisis that means that we're going to see uh, capital and lending standards begin to tighten. How are you preparing for that? Are you already seeing signs of any of that? Well, host is uniquely well positioned because we have no debt maturities uh, uh, coming due until March of 2024. And at that point in time, it's only a $400 million bond deal. Uh, we're well positioned regardless of what happens in the economy. Uh, you know, the, the, the group business, there's pent up demand. Uh, there clearly is, and there's continued optimism about the state of travel, and we're just not seeing any signs. And this is post SVB and post signature uh, going down as well. I think the 25 basis point uh, increase was well uh, forecasted and expected, and uh, we're, we're just not seeing the slowdown. Now, I'm not that, that, of course, that can change. Uh, but as we sit here today, uh, we have very, a very high level of confidence on all three segments of our business.